Thanks, Janella. We are talking about events and entertaining. I'm joined now by Catherine Morlock from Bubbly Co. You guys are all about making events pop. Perfect name for that, Bubbly Co. We're going to talk about hosting the perfect cocktail mixer. What, uh, what is something people should keep in mind? What's a piece of advice you have? Um, well, the most important thing that I think is that everyone stays really organized. Ah. So planning ahead, um, knowing how many guests are going to attend, how much alcohol will be consumed. Mm -hmm. So you can plan ahead, make ice ahead of time. That's a really big one. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, just have, keeping that menu a secret. That's always nice for the guests to be surprised when they arrive. What's your favorite part of preparing for a cocktail mixer? Because with the job you have, I would imagine you do this pretty often. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of getting ready for a party like this? Um, well, I always like to see who's going to come. Like, does, is there a lot of people that like red wine? Is yeah. there a lot of people that like beer? Um, so I kind of take that into account. I also like to throw in a few things that people would not really expect. So something that you might see on a menu at a nice cocktail bar mm -hmm. and might shy away from, but I like to throw in some surprises. Awesome. Now I can imagine I don't host a lot of stuff. If I did, I think I might get a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, hosting parties can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. Uh, what's something people can do to kind of just relax a little bit? What, what should people do? Um, well, I'm a person that makes lists. So if, if you have a list of kind of um, the day before and the day of and you know during the party to mm -hmm. keep in mind that's mm -hmm. always helpful um, If you're having a get a party and you're only uh, it's only you serving the cocktails right. It's always a good idea to have no more than 15 guests because oh. if you're making all the drinks yourself by hand for all those guests that can get a little overwhelming so if you keep it Keep the guest list a little bit smaller. That's always a good thing. Excellent. Well, coming up in a couple of minutes, we're going to check out this bar cart. It's fantastic. We were looking at it just a couple of minutes ago. So many things on it. It's incredible. We're going to find out what you should have in your summer bar cart. Stay tuned to Go Saskatoon.